Yo, 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 and welcome to this uh, quick demo of uh, the new ProLens 2 add-on. Um, let's get right into it. So here's a little test demo I did with it. And uh, yeah, we get this really nice kind of, yeah, realistic bokeh effect with the, the lens fringing and and the vignetting and uh, everything. Uh, and I just think it looks really nice in like, like these little halo bits here. Um, small detail that you might not notice consciously, but I think it makes a pretty nice difference, especially if you're going for photorealism. So you just downloaded it. And if you haven't downloaded it, you can uh, check the description, but you just check this and there might be some pop-up that says allow automatic scripts to run or something like that. And that's because I'm using drivers to control different stuff and uh, you'll need to check that button to have the add-on properly work. Um, so save that and um, let's just um, add in our ProLens. So either you can use this ProLens camera here or your regular camera. It doesn't really matter that much because they should both work, but I'm going to use ProLens camera because that adds a camera directly to your viewport, which is pretty nice. Um, or you can keep adding that to whatever you want. I like F1. So if I hit F1, I can just add a camera. Oh, and that happens if you add a camera uh, while being in another camera view like that. So just make sure you aren't doing that and um, you shouldn't have any issues. But OK, let's do some of that and uh, we'll add our camera right here. And um, you'll see that right here, you'll get this Pro Lens tab with the new add on. So if I just go into render mode. It's really simple. So the old version, it was very clunky um, to get like a camera with the pro lens in the scene. And if you adjusted focus or anything, it all kind of fell apart. Um, so I'm just going to switch to a little more interesting HDRI environment. I'll pick Shanghai Bund because it's the best HDRI. All right. So all you do is you hit add pro lens and this will come up. This is what I was talking about. So just allow execution and uh, let's see, add pro lens and it should work. All right. So if we just zoom in a little bit like that, okay. And you will see that we are getting some really nice bouquet here in the background with the, the shallow like center and you can change this strength slider. Um, so, I mean, it basically just adjusts the strength. It's uh, not really anything else. And you can change the ratio if you want to, like this is more of a spherical lens and I like to keep it kind of subtle. Um, and if you want to remove it, you just hit remove. And if you want to add it, you just hit add. So I have this autocorrect brightness as well. And that's if you want to uh, adjust for the brightness loss. So for example, this is without it. And if I just add pro lens, it's going to kind of darken the image. So if you just check that, it's going to adjust it properly. So it's not going to be that more darker. All right. Um, so you can also add vignette, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's going to make these edges kind of uh, curly you're going to get that nice cat's eye effect like that. And um, also when you're using this on HDRIs, I recommend just removing the noise threshold and it's going to look a lot nicer. So you can also adjust the vignette scale. To, so like if you want to adjust the strength of this effect. So apparently like if you change your focal length and you like zoom in too much, this vignette is kind of going to break a little bit. So you can adjust your scale here. Um, so it kind of fits. So I think around there should look nice, but generally you want to use this vignetting effect. It's more noticeable on uh, more wide lenses. So you can adjust that there. And if you want to remove, remove any of these, you just hit remove, remove, and uh, that's all you do. And you can just use a normal camera if you want to, like that. 
and uh, you can just go in here, depth of field, add pro lens, and it's going to add all these elements to it. And like when you change the focal length, all these are going to scale um, the right way. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to jump into this demo scene here and uh, I just wanted to show some of these nice results that you can get. So this is just with the um, like a regular bouquet. It looks kind of generic. And if you want to add some character to it, um, you can just hit add pro lens and because this is more heavy scene. For some reason, everything is taken an extra second to process, which is a little bit annoying, but look at that. Look at that. That looks very nice. Um, so you can adjust your strength here. I think that's a little too much and you can, you know, adjust the brightness, the autocorrect brightness. And I might zoom in a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Look at these nice edges here too. Yeah. Um, so you might want to do an anamorphic lens even. Depends on. And I'm just going to add in a vignette as well. So we get that nice cat's eye effect on the edges. Okay. Yeah. It kind of looks... Yeah, this looks really nice. A lot of character. Um, so let's see if I can do this. And this might happen when you're moving around, like in the viewport, you see how the, there are some black spots and that's only when you're like temporarily when you're moving around because all the like elements have to, they're not as fast as the, the rendering for some reason. Um, but that's not an issue for final result. Um, so let's bring this back to one. We're getting this really nice bouquet. Yeah. This is a model from, from Quixel if you want to try something similar. Anyways, um, here are some, some before and after images. Um, this is the bouquet fringing and the optical vignetting. And yeah, that's kind of this demo. Um, hopefully this will be a nice addition to y'all's tool belt and uh, yeah bye bye